This video is going to review the September 2020 Hilti construction layout update for the PLC 400 tablet. And I encourage you to look at the timestamps for the different contents that are in this video, but I'll go fairly quickly. One of the first things is actually something that's been on the software for a while, uh, but I have not mentioned it because you haven't been able to do much with it until this new update. And that is the fact that you can now add IFC files, which is more of a 3D file into the software. And to show you that, I'm going to go to add a new project. I'll call it IFC. In the drawing section, I'm going to say plus, import, check. And on my USB, I have an IFC file right here. So when I press check and I go ahead and go into draw, you can see, especially when I go into 3D orbit view, that this file is a 3D IFC file. And the next thing I'm going to review is placing points on a 3D IFC file if this is your file of choice. So here I have my IFC file. I'm going to go ahead and put it in orbit mode again so you can see that it is a 3D file. Now the point creation function is in the middle tab here at the very top. And I'm going to go to point creation. I'm going to click the 3D mode. And I'm going to go ahead and click on 3D elements. I'm just going to kind of spam click here so you can see that what it's doing is it's putting points, in this case, at endpoints of my 3D elements. Currently, you can only put points at the endpoints of the 3D elements that you are putting them on. And I'm sure there's going to be more location points that you can put on these 3D elements as the software develops even further in future updates. I'll go ahead and spin it around again so you can see a little more clearly. And there they all are. So you can see how it works. I can save them, and it saves all those points. And another thing to remember is that even if you have 3D elements, I can go ahead and go to basic 2D or single point creation. Um, I'll go ahead and say put points at every end point like I did before. And you can see it's still working. If I just tap these individual lines, it is going to recognize these as individual lines as well, even though they're a 3D element. So I think that's important to know is that uh, you can work with these elements now. And let me show you one more thing uh, regarding point creation on 3D elements because not all work. Some do work, some don't work. And let me just kind of show you what is currently supported and what is not so you know what to expect. So here you can see a quick Excel file that I've made that goes through the supported 3D types and the ones that are not yet supported. So let, let me review this real quick. Uh, if you're familiar with 3D types, you know that there's a lot of different types. You have these uh, solid, 3D face, 3D solid, polyface mesh, 3D polyline, 2D polyline, and you have mesh regions and polygon mesh. So just right off the bat, know that these so far are not able to put points on at all. If you have a mesh, a region, or a polygon mesh, you're going to have to somehow explode that or change that to a different 3D type. But if you have any of these, they will work. And uh, let me explain this over here. You'll notice that for almost all of them, they'll be putting a point at the end point of the objects. If you have a 3D solid, currently it's only going to put it at the center of that object, um, if that's what you need. And another thing to point out is that the two things down here that are not 3D point available, like two 3D polylines or 2D polylines, you cannot use that 3D mode to put a point on it, but you can, as you saw me before, use the single point mode to put points on those. So you can still put points on them, but you won't be able to use that 3D block mode that I was using before. So use this as a grain of salt. Just take a peek at this. Hopefully yours is going to work and be supported, but if not, go ahead and take a peek at this and you might understand why it might not be supported. But um, most of them should work pretty flawlessly for what you're doing. In the future, I only see IFC file conversion and import and 3D point creation only to improve. So we're in the beginning stages, I guess you could say, but obviously it's there. It's very stable and it's only going to improve from here. So this is really exciting stuff. Another nice feature that's been added is the ability to lay out points from ends of lines and not be restricted to one end or the other. And to explain that, if I go to point creation um, at an offset of a line. I can click this line and it'll put whatever offset I have. Here I'll make an offset of one foot by one foot. So right now my end point is here at the end line here. It went one foot down and one foot to the right. If I click the line it'll actually rotate where that beginning spot is. So this is now one foot one foot. So as you click that line it'll rotate from that end point of where you want that end point to be. So it's just a nice feature to have before it would be locked to whatever beginning point 
to the line of where it was drawn in AutoCAD. So a little bit more flexibility for you there. And that about does it for the new features. Pretty simple update, but I do notice that uh, my software is a lot more stable, so there must have been some bugs or stability things in the background that they fixed as well. So if there's any questions, leave them in the comments, but I think that this should help you get going forward.